It's time to do the thing we do in this game. You know the thing. Um, that one, yes. Probably unnecessary to save all these save files, but uh, I guess with the branching, maybe not. I, I have no idea how the branching works, though. It, it doesn't seem very branchy so far. Cold, 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 cold. Yeah, messing up drinks and failing to have enough money seem to be the only possible branches so far. Sure is cold out there. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. Billy Vine? He's a cool guy. Very respectful. Apparently he got into some legal trouble, that's why he's like that. Really? He could also just be a very nice crackhead, though. I have a cousin who lives like a hobo, actually. Really? Is he a millennial? It's a bit complicated, though. Problem is, his family tried to get him to live with them, but his pride won't let him accept their help. He'd rather live on the streets for some reason. You can't tell with some people, sadly. Why did he become a hobo in the first place? Bad investments and debts. Bank evicted him from his house. Oh. So I, 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 I can't think of a suitable voice for you. It isn't ridiculous or patronizing. Um, it's a serious problem because he has epileptic attacks but refuses to take his medication. I just don't get what's up with him. Oh. God damn it. It's you. Honey, some service here. I'm here. Don't scream. Oh, were you two hanging out at the back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Just talking. Is that what they call it these days? Shut up. What do you want? Something soft, something sweet. No alcohol, please. The same. Would <laughs> it be the same if you just grabbed a soda from a vending machine? Yes! Suffer! Suffer! I'm just gonna enjoy this for a minute. My lady, you need. Do you dislike my presence so much? Yes. Yes. Sweet non alcohol. Alright. Sweet. Excuse me. Easy enough. That's seriously all. Easiest drink ever. There you go. See, you don't get this kind of treatment from vending machines. You mean insulted and eventually given a drink after crying? I guess if you're into that. Unless you're Lawrence. But he has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans of cola. I hate you. <clears throat> Lawrence. A friend of mine. He's a vending machine. Oh. I don't know what I expected. Oh. Oh, but how impolite of me. Hmm. I'm lovely and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Alma. Pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Is this, is that... Is that a different Dorothy? Is like Dorothy? Or is that still pronounced Dorothy? I, I don't know the normal spelling. Yup. Why? Nothing. I just guess I've heard about you somewhere. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me. Mostly about your, um, fluckiness. Ugh. And here I was thinking it was because I'm a sex worker! <laughs> so much for trying to be subtle. Hey, I take pride in my job, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. Isn't it dangerous? I know how to take care of myself, thank you very much. Where do you work, Alma? I'm a hacker. Really? A full-fledged hacker? Not the kind that sees a computer logged into an account and says that's hacking, right? <laughs> I don't think that's very common. No, of course not. I've always been curious about what being a hacker works. Do you just start typing really fast <laughs> waiting for something to happen? Yes, that's how it works. Yes. She said yes. They can ignore the text. I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. You don't know until you try, right? Well, she's being less insufferable today. Oh. Never mind. Sigh. Last time I, I said that I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light bulb up a grown man's ass. It was a success! Okay then. Let me try to explain in general how it works. Let's just say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. Alright! 
First, I had to do some research on the target. Operating system, servers, how the information is stored, and all that. Then you just type a comma, and then star, and... Oh, never mind. Um, there have been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. First, I had to secure things from my side. I started working behind proxies. <laughs> Good luck, I'm behind seven proxies. Uh, and thanks to Tor, that's now a reality. Um, anyway. Start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable computers I find on the way. Uh-huh. After that, I start testing the networks. I go through the basic protocols, try known exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I tested the ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. I see! Then when I'm finally in, I go around to retrieve user privileges. After that, I try to become a super user and get what I need. How do you do that? Well, there are a few, there are a couple of ways. As someone who knows infosec stuff, this is incredibly boring. I can use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. Yeah, those are just a dime a dozen. I can use the info somebody already gave me. The usual way is using a buffer overflow. Ugh. Oh, fuck you. No, don't do this. Throw her outside. What happens next? What happens next? Please put her in the trash with ha with with streaming Chan. I create a backdoor in the system before leaving and covering my tracks. I can't. I can't. Uh, I hate you. Yeah. I should have expected this. Eh. I am not reading your lines anymore. Sorry, I guess I get carried away. No shit, what happened? <laughs> Have you seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook, but they make it sound like they're having sex instead? Uh, what kind of shitty movies do you watch, sex bot? Suggestive scenes, yeah. Well, that whole thing was kind of like that for me. Really? As someone has heard these sort of jokes a billion times before, they're really not funny, or sexy, or anything. I guess I'm like the only person who hates Lowly Trash Bot 9000. So, let me just say, her character could be kind of funny if the game weren't so, like, explicitly gross about her. Like, initially I wasn't even thinking of her as, like, Lowly Sex Bot. But then, they go through the whole scene where they say, Oh, my designation is DFC, which is, you know, disgusting pedophile code word for delicious flat chest, and used by exactly the sort of people you're thinking of. And then they go on to talk about how she looks like she's 12, which I mean, I, I guess she does look young. I wasn't really thinking about it when I first saw her, but then they just went so hard to draw that connection to basically pedophiles, and... I cannot enjoy this character anymore. I mean, she's a robot and that makes it kind of less awful. I mean, I guess she's choosing to be, you know, creepy pedo bait instead of, you know, being creepy pedo bait by, you know, circumstances beyond her control, which I guess is slightly better, but she's still gross and I hate her. But trust me, if you recorded yourself giving a really detailed explanation in a really sexy voice, you'd make millions. Horny little minor, unexploited market. I also find this, um, I don't like the whole discussing sex as something exploitative, negative, um, that's always for the woman too. I, I, I just don't, I don't like this character. I see. Bring back Streamer Chan. <laughs> That's how much I dislike you. Yep, my brother-in-law. Okay, we're, we're finally off of this topic. Let us never speak of it again. Yep, my brother-in-law came to look for me. Is it alright to ask that from him? It's okay. I've known him since preschool. Just so happened that he married, got married to my sister. Hey Dorothy, you need a ride? Can you drop me by 3rd Street? Sure, it's on the way. Yay, I'll take your offer then. Bye, honey. 
See, when she's just being, like, normal, she's fine, but... The street seems noisy. Oh, client. Hello, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? Such a small, yet comfortable place. Look at his head! Truly an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of the suburban desert. A place where lost and corrupt souls can gather and forget their trouble for a while. A nest where everyone from the most pathetic scum to the vilest trash junkie can sit to kill their insides. Truly a real persona non grata. Yes. That's Latin for mysterious place, by the way. <laughs> I'm so smart and philosophical. Accurate dialogue. All right, we, we got ourselves a persona non grata here. What we have then? See, I like this guy. This guy. This is one of the better ones so far. Seventeen. Okay, excuse me. I said seventeen. Seven plus ten. Wait, seven plus teen. What does it mean to you? Seventeen is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. I hate you. Seventeen. The hell does that mean? Seventeen. Something that uses seventeen ingredients is what I'm guessing. Not that. That's eighteen. That's, that's too many. That's ten. I guess I could make a large, or big, whatever they call it. But no, that, I'd have to use optional whatever machine. It's double, nothing, I can't get, make 17 out of double something. Eh. 17. Miscount one of these, did I? Yeah, it's 18. Puke Green Fairy. I think this guy would enjoy the fedora, but that doesn't sound like 17. each ingredient. No, that's not it. Seventeen. Is that 17 enough for you? Okay, explain. The total of ingredients here add up to 17. Beautiful. And what brings you, Mr. Um, Ar Armandio. Virgilio Armandio. See, I introduced myself using the Asian order, because that's a lot more polite. I I don't I don't agree. Right. And I came here looking for an otherworldly experience. I was passing by and saw this place called Valhalla. I want to see the souls of resting warriors, the wounded spirits of noble souls, the golden hall full of never-ending banquets, the lively Valkyries looking over them. 
We have some arcade machines in the corner. No, no, no. You're taking me too literally. You see, I'm being poetic. Yes, I kind of guessed that. I'm giving a mistal air to a mundane affair. I wanted to see drunk people and I wanted to see waitresses and food. How exciting. I wanted to see the bar in all of its decadent glory. Well, you're out of luck. Today's been quite a slow day. Parky! Um, Parker, get out of the way. Can't see. Go over here. Parker, come on. There. Not that I'm very surprised, given how things have been going on the streets, though. Oh, that's me. Humans are a nasty bunch, that much is true. Making a ruckus, coming at each other. That's to be expected by the only mammal that kills its own. I'm... I really doubt that we are the only ones that kill our own. See? See? Oh yeah, give me an example, not zoologist bartender. Like I said, I don't know exact details, I just know that isn't right. Parker. Parker, crinkle noises. There you go. No, oh, get, get all of the way down. There you go. Memory serves, right? Once a lion takes over pride, every cupboard for another lion is killed or something. Pfft. Takes over a pride. You can't take over a pride. Pride isn't a tangible thing. You need to stop making things up, not zoologist bartender. But going back on topic, do you know what the number 17 means? One less than 18? The atomic number of chlorine? No, and Chloe... Parker. And Chloe is a name, not a number, you know. The group where halogens are in the periodic table. Stop making up words like halogens periodic in the table. Uh, this is one of the better ones. He's idiotic in an in inoffensive, amusing way. 17 is us. Every human has 17 pairs of chromosomes. I, I don't think that's right. Yeah, it's, it's 23. <laughs> what is? Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Well, they're both primal numbers. <laughs> primal numbers. Do you want anything else? I'd like a single plum body and perfume served in that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming, but... Uh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Here's your, here's your fedora with a plume. Parker! Parker, calm down. This... this... This is not the time. Not really got him that time. I'm just crinkling. I just have aluminum foil on my desk to crinkle now, because he hates it. He just runs. <laughs> Plum fume. Here. Ha! Ah, you didn't... Wait. You did. Enjoy! I will. I'll drink this perfume. <laughs> you don't really have to. Yeah, that'd be silly. You win this round, bartender. Hey, bartender. Have you ever thought about death? Um, how? What if we're already dead, both of us? What? What tells you I even existed before I entered that door? How can you assure me that this reality is real and we are not in fact in heaven or hell all along? What if everything up to this point is just a stupid story written by an unemployed 20-something in this room? I could punch you to make you feel your reality. <laughs> I don't care about any of that, actually. This reality is real enough for me, and that's all that matters. Such a close-minded way of seeing things. You need to get away from the factual facts. Open up your mind to things beyond your reach. You'll never reach enlightenment if you don't start. The habanera has started! It means Twilight of Gods in the German, by the way. Well, you're on your own, bartender. Enjoy your new world order. Um, what? Are those explosions? Are that... What? I was wondering if that was just like a flourish from what he said. Uh, uh, cars just randomly... Oh good. Gunshots! Jill, come here for a sec. About 5 gigabytes of reports. 
proving that several White Knight squads have been used to cover. Illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. Receiving reports of several eunuchs going rogue and using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the streets. Several counter-terrorism forces in the neighborhood's cities have been dispatched in order to subdue. Crazed units after a plea from the vice president. All good. We're still waiting for declarations from Zaibatsu Corp's CEO on the subject, but until then... Things are ugly in and outside of that bank, it seems. I'd recommend you stay here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going outside. What if they break in? They won't. Even then, as far as quite the security system. And I'll be here protecting you as an added bonus. Sigh. Yeah, I guess I'll go... I'll stay here tonight. I'll get you the spare mattress I have. Do you mind sleeping in my office? Why, why do you have multiple mattresses in the bar? Well, let's hope everything gets solved by morning. I'll have Zen Tenku on hand. Just in case. The metal bat with nails? <laughs> There's nothing it can't bash. <laughs> Sign Gil for hope everything's better by tomorrow. Mistakes! Mistakes? How did I make a mistake? Excuse you! Wait, did I make a mistake last video and then it didn't carry over until now? I don't recall making a mistake last video either. Wait, so I don't get the intermission? Day 5 break. I guess I don't get to go home, so... Still should... it should... I, I don't know. These just keep getting shorter, oddly. Huh. I guess I'll still cut it off, as always, at the break. So yeah, stay tuned for more Valhalla.